In today's video, you want to look like Simeon Panda. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I got a really interesting question on my Instagram direct message. So if you guys would like to send me questions to my Instagram, you can do that. Um, but today's question, I had to do some research once I got it because, to be honest, Anytime someone mentions someone like Simeon Panda, who is without a doubt one of the most genetically gifted, hardworking bodybuilders on the planet, um, you know, that's like shooting for the moon. Um, so, but I'm going to discuss because I actually looked into this person and he may be capable. And before I get too far, I actually have some exciting news. Google emailed me and said, hey, we have a pilot program starting and we'd like to get you involved. And so I jumped at the opportunity, got on a phone call with them, and they are starting a new product. And they want yours truly to be one of the first people to use it. It's called Stations. And what it allows me to do is through my YouTube channel, basically run a podcast, which will be live, and you can call me and I can answer your questions. Now there won't be video of this, but I'm gonna do it today. Today at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am going to turn on my Google stations, which will show up live in my YouTube. And I'm going to put a number on the screen here. You guys can call in and we can have a conversation and I can answer your questions. Now, I don't know how long I'll do this for, maybe an hour or so. Maybe no one will even tune in, but it's essentially a new product that Google has given me the opportunity to, loot, to use. And I asked them why they chose me, and they said it's because of my engagement with you guys. So I really appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving me in the comment section. I feel like we're really got a good conversation going, and that's why they chose me. There are much bigger, better fitness YouTube channels out there than me, right guys? But the amazing thing is, I don't know that there's a better kind of community out there than ours. And that's what I want to encourage, is for us to have more conversations. So I'm gonna actually be able to get a phone call from you and answer the question on the podcast live on my YouTube channel. How cool is that? And they may have a video product available down the line, but for now, I'm gonna go live today, 4 p.m. The number's on the screen. I'm gonna put it in my, in my Instagram stories. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm a little nervous, uh, but excited. It's something new, you know, and it's, it's, it's an honor. Now, the person that reached out to me, um, I had to do some research because, let's be honest, very few people on this planet have the opportunity to even look like someone like Simeon Panda. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of my backstory. When I first got into lifting, of course my idol was Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I remember seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger um, in his videos, um, but more so the pictures, lifting weights and thinking, man, if I could ever get that strong, I'll look like Arnold. And I still remember to this day thinking when he inclined bench press 315 on Venice Beach, um, I think it was in pumping iron or something. I thought that's where I got to get. And lo and behold, I actually inclined bench 315 for five reps and guess what? Still didn't look like Arnold. So it's not just about the work and the time. There is so much more that comes into it and genetics is obviously the biggest factor in that. So when this person mentioned that he had been dieting, trying to lose some weight, and he said something that kind of caught me. He said he played college football, division one, and professional football. Now I'm not gonna give his name here, so anytime someone has the athletic ability to be a professional football player, you know right off the bat that they are the cream of the crop elite. I even found a video of him on YouTube uh, bench pressing, and I believe he got 225 pounds for 41, 42 reps. Yeah, that kind of strength, um, it, it's not gifted to everybody, right? So it really got my interest peaked about what it would take to do that. Now, I don't know anything about Simeon Panda. I believe he uh, is someone that talks about bodybuilding from a natural perspective. And when you see him, you think there's no way that that can be true because he's such an outlier. Um, and I've actually stood next to him at some expos and he's just as impressive in person. You know, I've seen him there with his, um, with his tank top and I think he was with that guy Ulysses and I was just like, geez, th those guys are just amazing to look at. I mean, they're like works of art. But it's not far removed from, from the, the realm of possibility that that be the case because you see professional athletes all the time built like that. They're just not people that are gonna go to walk around with a 
you know, tank top at a fitness expo. Um, if you look up some of the NFL's like most famous physiques, if you go back to the 90s, there was a guy by the name of Shannon Sharp that was someone that I thought, wow, that is the ideal physique. Um, he was a tight end but had uh, a big following in the fitness world because he was involved with a company called EAS. So can you look like someone like Simeon Panda? That has got to be the first question because if you're setting the bar to unrealistic expectations, then you might be disappointed even if you do some amazing things. So what I did was I actually reached out to this gentleman to have a conversation because I think there's potential there where I see the biggest difference in looking like someone like Simeon Panda versus where this gentleman is at is body fat. You know, body fat is going to mask and hide so much shape. The one thing that when you look at someone like Simeon is his taper, his waist is so tiny, his chest and shoulders are so wide. And so you get this almost comic book like appearance. And I know all you guys are gonna probably jump in and say, well, hey, you know, you know he's on stuff. Here's the thing, I don't care. Because you can put a lot of people on steroids and they're not even gonna get close to the ballpark of something of that kind of quality, right? I mean, if that was the case, anytime you went to a bodybuilding show, you would just see everybody that looked immaculate. If you take somebody who has the most elite genetic potential for muscle building and give them a skeletal structure with wide shoulders, a tiny waist, muscle insertions that allow them to have these big round muscle bellies, I mean, you have the potential for something amazing. And this is where we get Mr. Olympias because you take that and you apply a little bit of exogenous hormones and you get some amazing things like Phil Heath and Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler, right? These are the elite of the elite. And if we took away all the hormones that people are putting in their bodies, you would, they would still be the elite, right? They would just be a little bit smaller. So the real goal is going to have to be getting much lighter than you think you need to be. You know, we all have these numbers in our head of where our weight should be. But, you know, I've seen some amazing top natural bodybuilders that are barely 200 pounds, you know, slightly over. Uh, the guy that won the Yorton Cup last year, uh, Magnus, man, the guy is an Adonis and he's a tall guy and he's definitely over 200 pounds, but it's all about conditioning, right? It's all about creating that look and that kind of appearance. And I think one of the things that first kind of annoyed me about the sport of bodybuilding was how light I had to get to actually look like I was a bodybuilder, right? And and for me, it's getting to 200 pounds and under, which at six foot three, it's not a good look for me. I, I don't like that look. It's only for stage. I actually don't like the way my face looks. I don't like the way my body looks. Um, so for this gentleman who wants to look like this, I'm gonna have to say, man, you're probably gonna have to get to a body weight that you've never liked. As a uh, defensive lineman, um, your body weight was really correlated with your success on the field. But if you want to have a look like this, you're really going to have to focus on bringing the weight all the way down. And it's probably not going to happen all at once. You've done a wonderful job already. He, he explained to me how much weight he's lost already. Um, so it's all about taking that next step. And the really exciting thing is he's local to Tampa. Maybe we'll link up at my new gym. My gym opens this week. The equipment arrives tomorrow at noon. So me and my team are gonna be taking that, unboxing it, probably take a couple days to put it all together. Now it's not a big gym open to the public, but it is a facility where I'm gonna be able to have seminars, free seminars for you guys, free training sessions, um, gonna be doing posing. So this is the first step in a business that was built on a computer going mainstream brick and mortar, right? We're actually gonna have a building where we can call home. My friend, if you're watching this video, I'd be very excited in the process of just seeing how great your physique can be. You've set the bar really high, but based on what I've seen, it might not be completely unreasonable. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Be sure to tune in today at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the first ever Google Station podcast. I think it's going to be called Paul Ravella Radio. They already set all that up. My friends at Google. That's right. I got friends at Google. Talk to you tomorrow.